Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together, and be joyous, but let each of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping. For only the hand of life can contain your hearts, and stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow, not in each other's shadow. For the main event, Dina, my, my wife bride. Um, it really is hard to describe how incredible you look today. And, and even though I am floored and gobsmacked by your beauty on a daily basis, um, yeah, this day is definitely the best yet. Yeah, you look stunning. But the thing I love the most um, is the deep love you have for your family, especially your two nephews, Ryan and Xander. It is so abundantly obvious that your number one priority is, is family. You've made me so happy getting extra married to me. Um, and I am just so honored to have the opportunity to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, so can we please be upstanding to, to make a toast to the prettiest, kindest, and most, most bathed woman in all the lands. <laughs> Marriage fills our lives with meaning and purpose. As we learn to negotiate and contend with each other, there can be struggles. We expect and demand the best of our partners, the best of ourselves, but sometimes we fall short. We forgive each other, we lift each other up. We face the world together with all of its tragedy, malevolence, opportunity, joy, and adventure. We do this knowing fully that we are better facing it together. When Dina and James say their vows to each other here today, they commit before us for the rest of their lives. They are in this together. Darlene places the red cord. This red cord represents Dina's family as a prominent color in both the Palestinian and American traditions. Bernie, I ask you to place the green cord. The green cord represents James's family as the green of Ireland we're all familiar with. I place the white cord which is a symbol of Dina and James's unity, as the white permeates through the Irish, American, and Palestinian flags. Now, Dina and James, I ask you to look into each other's eyes and repeat after me. As I give you my hand, as I give you my hand, so I give you my heart, so I give you my heart. As I lay my hand in yours, as I lay my hand in yours, so I lay my dreams in your keeping, so I lay my dreams in your keeping. As my hand is bound with yours, as my hand is bound with yours, so is my life. So is my life. Today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and all of our days to come. 
and all of our days to come. And now, everyone, the biggest round of applause you can, please, for our bride and groom. This is a comes once in a lifetime. For the first time, I believe it to be true. All of my friends say, when you know, you know, every piece falls into place when I'm with you. When you have found a love that sets me free. Dina had met her perfect partner when she said that when she is with James, she feels like with she is with herself. And when they are apart, she feels like a part of her is missing. And a few months after that, they came to visit with us in California for a few weeks, which is when I had an opportunity to really get to know James. That was when I realized that Dina had kept a promise she had made to me, which was that when she picks a man to marry, that she makes sure that he is not just a husband to her, but a son to our parents, and a brother to myself and our little sister Susie. And James, you are that person. Thank you for being so wonderful and kind to all of us, and for really becoming a part of our family, like a missing puzzle piece we were waiting for. And we all love you so much and are so grateful for you. May you have many long, happy years together. So cheers to my little sister, Dina, and my new brother, James, and their happily ever after.